are a couple different activities that I do to channel stories into art form. Whether the story is fiction or non-fiction, imaginary or emotions based, I usually start with writings, specifically poem, or in times random doodles that are the dots in my brain so I connect them. And these two methods are the channel, the bridges to what I'll be creating or constructing. And most of the time, they don't really go as planned, to be honest. They morphed as I'm doing it, uh, they evolve into something else, but the poem and the doodles are the ones that keep me grounded. Those two things also help the work to evolve linearly or non-linearly. It's amazing how wordings or a word can be deconstructed to various objects, to various forms, and how random forms and lines can be constructed into something that convey emotions that help me narrate the stories. I find some stories and emotions difficult to put into words. Sometimes they are just fragmented thoughts or a particular feeling I am having that day. Other times I paint spontaneously with no thought at all, and the artwork is the embodiment of a particular emotion. This is actually when I feel most free, when it does not have to make any sense. When I do try to get a message across, I like to play with colors, details, textures, and repetition to create the mood of my story. I want the details and textures to be noticed once the viewer comes closer and becomes engaged in the piece. Since my main subjects are faces and figures, I want their expressions and body language to speak for itself. What I actually find more fascinating is how the viewer perceives my work and what story they see in each artwork, regardless of my own. I don't believe a work of art has a single meaning conferred by the artist. It is infinitely more important that the work elicits a genuine emotional response from the viewer. I guess the act of creating, for me, is a form of storytelling in itself. I usually start with a narrative and in this case my paintings and my drawings have been based on this one narrative it helps me to understand a little bit i guess my emotional state and the way i'm connected with uh, not only the people around me but my environment so by creating this fictional story i am i guess trying to unravel and problem solve my understanding of generally how i respond to things how i'm feeling the nature of the people around me and the relationships I have. And so in that sense, the story is a crucial and if not a focal point of my whole process. Sometimes I represent stories through colors and abstract shapes. I pick a form, an object or a subject and deconstruct them as such that it only shows the essence of what it is. But most of the times, I let the artwork evolve by itself and creates its own soul. The Pareidolia effect in abstraction lets everyone see shapes and creates his or her own story. I think that's something very special, something that I really enjoy listening to.